Scalloped potatoes, another signature holiday dish that is usually 99% garbage. We're gonna make a really healthy, tasty, vegan, oil-free version for you today. Get ready, here we go. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. I'm back with another healthy holiday recipe so that you stay on track this holiday season. Move over mashed potatoes, but not too far. It's time for some scalloped potatoes, the healthy way. And this is like the easiest recipe. It's another one of my one platter casseroles. So fast and easy. Whip it up. You can make it the day before and take it to the party, whatever. Okay, y'all, the main ingredient here is potatoes, and we gotta make them slice nice and thin. And we're using the gold potatoes, by the way. You don't wanna have to slice them all by hand, so you can use a mandolin. Make sure you use the safety. It's very easy to make scalloped fingers, if you know what I mean. So use the safety, and you can do scalloped potatoes. You can do the potato and the onion using this thing. I. I'm not as patient, I have this machine, I'm gonna use it. I've got the little slicer here on my food processor, so that's gonna make this really fast and easy. The only thing is I don't remember, this is an adjustable one, and I don't remember what setting I want it on, but I've chosen something to guess, and we'll see. And all I gotta do here is turn this baby on and just drop the potatoes in. Oh, look at those slices, can you believe it? And we got these nice, beautiful slices of potato. I could, I would go a little thicker than this. Let's do one more potato and see if this is better. Let's have a look. Don't cut your finger. These ones are a little thicker. That's what I'm going for, okay? They're just like, I don't know, an eighth of an inch maybe? Let's do the rest. Here we go, let's do it fast. Okay, and then I'm just dumping them in here. I'm gonna just put this thing right back. We're gonna use the same setting for the onion. You could go a little thinner for the onion, I suppose, but uh, I'm not gonna worry too much. And I'm just doing one onion. I'm gonna peel this thing. We'll cut it in half or something and drop it in. Okay, here we go. Boom, the chopping part of the video is over. All right, y'all, our potatoes and our onions are ready to go. Now we just have to whip up a cheese sauce, and if you really wanna make this fast, then use my cheese sauce. It's for sale at wellyourworld.com, but I'm gonna show you how to make a quick cheese sauce. It's not the same. I'm not gonna give you my secret cheese sauce recipe. <laughs> are you crazy? But it'll get the job done, okay, if you don't have the next best thing. You mean the best thing? The best thing. So here it is, we're going to take a lemon, we're gonna squash a lemon into the blender. A Vitamix is the best for this because we're gonna be blending up some cashews, so which I have not soaked. So I really like a Vitamix blender if we're doing serious business like a cheese sauce. Then I'm throwing in some cashews. By the way, all the ingredients, how to do this recipe, it's all down below in the blog post that Reeb's put together for you. Click the link and you'll have everything you wanna know. Then we're gonna use a little bit, I've got a fresh bottle of cheater garlic. So I'm gonna throw in a nice big spoonful. I like it garlicky, you know me. Then I've got some onion powder. Next up is nutritional yeast. We need some nutritional yeast up in here for sure. That gives it that nice cheesy flavor. You can buy also on our website the non-fortified nutritional yeast that we sell. It's top of the line, really excellent flavor. Very competitive price. Here's a little turmeric, that's going in. Gives it a nice orange flavor, and turmeric's super healthy too. Some cumin, ground cumin, gotta have it. And smoked paprika. I love a little smoked paprika in my cheese sauce. We have a little bit of mustard. Take your favorite mustard, and just give it a nice big squirt. And then all we need is some water. So dump in some water. Let's give this, I'm not gonna put it all in because I don't know yet, but you do wanna make this a little bit more on the liquidy side because it's gonna cook with the potatoes and onions. That's a nice looking cheese sauce. It is liquidy, but believe me, it's gonna be good. We've done all the hard work, let's assemble this thing. We're was gonna it really that hard? It was very easy. All we gotta do is throw down a layer of our potatoes first. And we're just making a messy layer, not too thick though, of the potatoes. But boom, there is a little bit of that. Let's throw on a thin layer of these onion strands, okay? It doesn't have to be as thick as the potato. And now, let's dump on about half of our cheese sauce. We're gonna go ahead and dump it in. Do you wanna put some black pepper or Ooh, only on the top? Rebecca has reminded us this is a very important step. You gotta get that black pepper in the middle of each layer, you know what I mean? This is so easy and fun. You can get the whole family in on this, am I right? We'll see if we end up eating all these potatoes. It, it's a big, this is a big platter. Most platters aren't quite this deep. So don't feel like you gotta fill it all up, but you know, as long as you've got enough ingredients, rock and roll. Get more of those onions in there. Get a little more cheese. I'm gonna save a little cheese and we'll just keep on layering. Just keep doing it over and over. It's gonna come out 
just great. And a lot of this liquid is going to kind of cook off and you'll be left with a nice, thick, creamy, perfect scalloped potato, believe me. Don't forget the pepper. With this depth, you can see now that there's lots of liquid down there. I don't think I'm going to have any worry about not having enough cheese. We've got a good ratio here. Let's add some pepper and then we'll just cover it up and throw it in the oven. This does take a while in the oven. It takes like 90 minutes. So just be patient. We've got a piece of parchment paper and aluminum foil. We're gonna cover it up and we'll throw it in the little Breville air fryer. It's been like 90 minutes. I'm gonna turn this thing back to 15 minutes and we're gonna take the top off. Ooh, careful. Ooh, boy. Give it like 15 Ooh. minutes just to brown on top. It's coming along nicely. Don't get excited. Here we go. Look at that beautiful scallop potato. It is dinner time here in the house. All that cheese has gotten nice and thick. Let's have a taste. Oh, this dish is way too good to be so easy. The texture of the potatoes is like perfectly cooked. The cheese is nice and thick. You can see it's nice and thick on all these potatoes. And I love the peppery flavor. You wanna get in here for a taste, Reeves? Yeah, I'm super hungry. I love these dishes that you cook for a while because they make the house smell super good. Oh, I've never thought of it like that. These, we made two dishes they took forever to cook and they both smell so good. Mm. How does it taste? Super creamy, super flavorful. Well, Reeves, why don't you tell us about the playlist of videos we've got available? We have a holiday playlist we've put together for you with this recipe and so many others, and you can click right here for that. Click down below for the blog for this recipe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.